Welcome back to the channel and um Jim Ryan quote. I've been seeing it. I've been seeing all the YouTube videos about it. I've read the article and uh I'm I think I'm I think I'm ready to talk about it. I think I'm ready to talk about it. Because a lot of people speculating on Jim, what he's saying, what he thinks the future of Sony is, and um I think I just want to speculate too. Shit, so we can speculate together. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. If you're new, subscribe. It's worth it. And thank you all. Thank you for all the love on all the videos that I've been dropping recently. Yeah, we've been blowing up. So yeah, let's keep it going. Jimothy Ryan, the boy Jim, leader of Sony Interactive Entertainment, PlayStation's poster boy himself, is talking numbers. He was talking some great numbers. He was talking about the past or what PlayStation 3 was doing and why they needed to change it up and PlayStation 4 and how PlayStation 4 took off. They had so much success. They saw so many great things, growth for Sony, and then what he plans to do with the PlayStation 5 platform. And I'm like, oh, like he was talking some good stuff. He's on, uh, what is it, GamingIndustry.biz. He was on GameIndustry.biz. Here's your quote right here. Everybody's favorite quote. They love to just take quotes and run with it, just like they did with the boy Sean Layden. RIP to him because Jimothy Ryan took him out the seat. But, um, yeah, he was talking numbers, and he was talking about how Sony's biggest games capped out at $20 million, And he wants more than $20 million people playing his games because they work so hard to build them. And I feel you. I feel you, Jim. Like, I put out a video, if 80 people watch it, like, I want, I want 180 million people to watch it. I don't just want 80. Like, you always want more. There's no reason to stop at 20 million. And he say, like, he, like, Sony themselves capped a audience off the 20 million. And even though they have 100 million consoles out, only 20 million of them are buying their games. That's only 20% of your player base buying your games bro 100 million consoles sold and only 20 million bought your shit like he feels that he knows he's like that ain't working bro because 100 million consoles out there and then a lot of people are speculating like oh he's he's talking about building the game pass clone or he's day and dating on pc and all those things could be valid all speculation at this point all we know is he want more people playing his games he sees a world where hundreds of millions of people are actually playing PlayStation games, not just the 20 million that do. Because, you know, there's PlayStation fanboys running around like, oh, Xbox players don't buy games. It seems Sony players don't either because uh, 100 million of y'all own a console and only 20% of y'all bought the PlayStation games, the big exclusive. Because he was talking numbers. I think, like, Last of Us had, like, 20 million. I think God of War had, like, 18 or 15, something like that. Like, nobody's buying these games. Well... You know, 15 million people is not a little amount of people. But in the grand scheme, in the big pot of 100 million, if only 15% of them people are interested in your game, what the fuck are you supposed to do? And everybody, when when people talk about, oh, they're just going to copy Xbox, it's like, I don't think they will. Because if y'all remember, last time GamingIndustry.biz was popping off with a news article, it was about what Sean Layden said and how Sean Layden was saying, like, you need... 500 million subscribers to make money on a streaming service charging ten dollars a month and i'm like numbers are exorbitant bro it's five billion dollars a month crazy shit but that's what sean Layden said who was just in the seat jim ryan is in right now so is jim ryan you know is he really gonna copy xbox when his predecessor was just saying in an industry dot biz news article just like he's in right now that that shit don't work <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he took Sean Layden out the seat for a reason. Jim knows what he's doing. I mean, I mean, if Sean Layden knew what he was doing, he wouldn't have lost to Jim. So, I mean, those are two conflicting narratives right there. Because if Jim wants to explain and Sean Layden was like, oh, expanding is dumb. You ain't going to make no money on that. You're going to lose a lot before you do. Like, it's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that correlate with this. And another thing that I was thinking of, because everybody was like, oh, that means day and date on PC for PlayStation games. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like a bad idea because Ghostwire and uh, Kenna and uh, what is it called? The other one, Deathloop, like all those games. Well, 
Ghostwire ain't come out yet. But it's probably definitely going date and date with uh to PC. But Deathloop and Kenna, they both went day and date to PC. And they still probably so well on PlayStation because PlayStation fans could buy them. Also, PC people could buy them. But the thing that I'm not understanding is who's going to tell, uh, you know, the, the, the Lord and Savior of PlayStation? I forget his name. You know, nerdy guy <laughs> makes PlayStations. <laughs> Everybody worship him. <laughs> I can't remember this man's name, bro. That's crazy. I know what it starts with. And it's Mark Cerny, bro. I don't know why the hell I couldn't say that before. But yeah, who's going to tell Mark Cerny that your precious PlayStation 5 is about to be under fucking utilized if they do that? Like, <laughs> do people do people not understand that, like, game level design is built from the ground up? And you would tell the difference between a game built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 using the SSD. Doing all these things, even though we haven't seen one yet. Because every one of those games using the SSD are PlayStation 4 games. Confirmed PlayStation 4 games. Even the, the glorious Ratchet and Clank developers already show like, bro, that can be done on a PlayStation 3. You're faking it. Calm down. And the the PlayStation 5 is already being underutilized by Sony already. So if those games are being PC games as well, day and date, that means the level design can't be using the ultra-fast SSD to be getting through that shit. That means you can't have big-ass open worlds just rendering in fucking nanoseconds because the PlayStation 5 the SSD is so fucking strong when a PC using a hard drive has to run that same game. Are y'all are, are, are y'all following me on this? Because I don't know. Because it's just my mind thinking like that. Because game design changes based off the hardware presented. And if the lowest common denominator for PlayStation is going to be PC now, that means they're going to be in the same boat as the Xbox. We see the Xbox was built for scalability, not for isolation. So the Xbox was built to be in the ecosystem of PCs and the cloud it was built for that it's to be a strong part of what they're doing the playstation 5 was built to be its own singular platform doing crazy shit with the crazy hardware with the thoughts of mark cerny if they had pc to that mark cerny can't fucking dictate what the fuck a pc to do he knows what he built the playstation 5 to do smart shift technology doing the thing with the gpu and cpu fucking you know read speeds and the the speed of the ssd everybody know what the playstation 5 is capable of but what the fuck does it do to a playstation 5 game that has to run on pc because yeah they can make two different games but then you're just gonna make pc niggas mad when they get a game and the playstation 5 game is completely different from the one they built for pc they're not gonna go well so you might as well not even put games on pc altogether and that's how my mind is thinking of this playstation shit there's no way they're doing date and date on pc because if they do that mean the SSD means fucking nothing. What is it gonna do? Just make games load faster? That's <laughs> then it's fucking pointless of saying you have an ultra fast SSD if it doesn't change the core game. That is what I'm saying. If Spider-Man 2 comes out and the and it and it doesn't do something different from Spider-Man the original, it was no point of the PlayStation 5 needing the SSD, or that game could be on PlayStation 4. It might have lower quality you know graphics and textures but it can run on a playstation 4 and that's that's what it chalks up to that's why when xbox games people are like oh they're cross-gen it's because they're just going to look and play better on the latest hardware just like they will do on pc the better your hardware on pc the better your game looks and runs that's how xbox has been doing their shit too why that's why they put themselves together like this that's why they connected them bitches with two cables like we're going to run this shit equal measure but sony took a different route and if they try to switch that now it's not going to work out for them but this is all speculation y'all gotta remember that this is just this is just my mind thinking of shit thinking of thinking of shit that that people have said in the past and it's like coming back to me it's kind of like flowing through me but yeah i don't like and they already have places now 
which PlayStation Now is the reason Game Pass is here. So thank you, PlayStation Now. You created a giant, which is Game Pass. And we needed that. Xbox needed that. So they made that back in 2016. We were testing it out. And it's been growing. And it's been getting bigger and bigger. They can do more with PlayStation Now. They can add streaming to PlayStation Now to PC, which I think they kind of do, don't they? They kind of already stream to PC, maybe some games, but not all of them. I don't know if they're going to go day and date in PlayStation Now because, you know, back to what Sean Layden was saying, you need way more people in there before you start making money. And I don't know if Jim Ryan is going to be like, fuck Sean Layden and do what the fuck the opposite of what he was saying or, you know, he's going to do his own thing like he's been doing. There's a whole lot of speculation that can go on about this PlayStation 5 quote, about this Jim Ryan quote, about him wanting more people to play their games. I'm just thinking he wants to market better to his core audience, the PlayStation 5 console owners. I don't think he, because like, of course he can sell the PC. He knows that. But what the fuck does that do to the PlayStation 5 games as a whole? It's where it keeps coming back to in my brain. I don't know. I don't know, but that's why I made this video. So y'all can tell me down below what y'all think. And I'm going to go play more Divinity. And I'm going to be waiting for y'all comments. So uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. Tell me what y'all think down below. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. I know I was rambling on. My mind was just blazing through shit. I don't even know what I was saying most of the time. But I remember. I can correlate. I can recollect. And I can just watch this again. <laughs> so thank you again. And I'll see y'all in the next video.